25 years ago, I was in the hospital. I was very sick. I was bleeding out, and I could feel my life slipping away. Uh, it was a scary feeling. It was just, everything was shutting down, and uh, it was late at night, and the nurses said, we need to call the doctor to come in and do surgery. And I felt this voice come up out of the middle of me, which I'd never heard before. It was very strange, that said, don't let them do surgery. You won't live through it. Call your Aunt Jenny and ask her to pray for you. Now, my Aunt Jenny was the strongest woman of faith I've ever known. She is, when I needed prayer, I would always call Aunt Jenny. So, and back in those days, we didn't all have cell phones like we do now. So, my husband ran out to the parking lot and got this big car phone like we used to have and brought it in. And I was so weak, I just held it up there. I couldn't even agree with Aunt Jenny. I just had to listen to her pray. And she prayed and prayed. And the bleeding stopped like somebody turned off a faucet. And that was it. There was not another drop of blood. And the nurses said, well, maybe, maybe it's going to be okay. They came back every 20 minutes to check. And sure enough, no more blood. And I went, wow, the power of intercessory prayer. Mm -hmm. God could do anything. If he wanted me to live, why didn't he just heal me? Why didn't he get the doctors to heal me? Or anoint some medication to heal me, but he, he wanted someone to pray for me. So after that, I became a daughter of the king because the thought of intercessory prayer really appealed to me. And it was at a Daughters of the King retreat that I saw some flyers about the Order of St. Luke. I'd never heard of the Order of St. Luke, but uh, I looked it up and we didn't have a chapter anywhere near us. I had to find a mentor to lead me through it. And um, finally, it took, it took me five years, which is way more than people usually take uh, to finish it. But it, that's just the way it unfolded without having a chapter. But then it was God's time because when it came together, uh, my priest asked me to do, well, maybe a little workshop on healing to see what happened if people were interested people were interested. So we, people wanted a chapter of OSL at our church. So we started one. I'm the convener now. We had a dozen people when we started. And we do regular healings now. Uh, we have part of the service on Sunday is healing prayer. Uh, Wednesday, we assist with healing prayer. And we just completed our second prayer drop-in where people from the community, from our church, come for prayer on a Saturday morning, pop in and stay as long as they want. They can pray or we can pray for them. They can walk in the labyrinth and we set up prayer stations and they can do the prayer stations. It's all about prayer. Mm -hmm. And we've had some amazing things, some suddenly God healing miracles that have happened. So, wow, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's just, I finally get that God wants us to be in partnership with him. And it's a powerful partnership. So that's why the Order of St. Luke is important to me.